This video is about programming the Uniden BCT 15X scanner using FreeScan software and, and programming it through the serial port. This particular scanner has just been reset. It's acting exactly like a brand new scanner just came out of the box with all the uh, annoying various sounds that come out of it based on the preloaded schemes behind these four indicators, police, uh, Department of Transport, Highway Patrol, and Bear Tracker. Okay, before I begin programming this thing, I am going to clear out all these presets so I don't have to deal with the noise. I'm going to do that by hitting POL, which clears out these two. I'm going to hit HP, which clears out those two. And now I have a basically empty scanner to work with and no uh, noise coming out of it. Using FreeScan software, which is available from RadioReference.com at no cost, I'm going to load this scanner with uh, the footprint of three high school districts and their associated eight repeater systems. This scanner doesn't come supplied with a USB port. It actually has a serial port on the front. And so to interface this into my computer, which didn't have a DB9 type uh, serial port, on it, I had to use a adapter cable uh, going from USB to serial. And if there's any confusion on that, I made a video, and it can be found at uh, on either the Google or the YouTube search screen at Erod 1944 uh, USB interfacing. Before I try to load something manually into the 15x scanner, I like to draw a diagram so I don't get lost. And this is the diagram for what I'm trying to do today. It's a three district school uh, system, which has uh, a total of eight repeaters, and all eight are presumably receivable from a single uh, scanner location. And so we have district one, which has a single group, two high schools, two repeaters, two frequencies. We've got district two, a single group, two high schools, two frequencies. And District 3, which is more complicated, has two groups and four uh, <clears throat> high schools, two high schools under Group 1 uh, with two, two frequencies and two repeaters, and under Group 2, two high schools, two frequencies, and two repeaters. And the way this relates to the scanner, these are the systems. These are obviously the groups, and all these guys down here are the channels. Okay, opening the FreeScan software, I'll maximize that. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, change the generic option in the scanner that has to do with the states, which will come into play later. I'll go here to set up scanner options, and I'll select the general section. And down here where it says Alabama, I'm really in California, so I'm gonna set that for California and um, the rest of this stuff I can pretty much leave as it is. So, okay, I'm back to the main uh, programming area, and I'm gonna start with a new system. Okay, it's gonna be a conventional system, and I'm gonna call it District 1. I'll create that system. It creates it with a group. I've got a total of three three systems so I'm, I'll make up the second one it's, it's conventional I'm gonna call this district 2 and then for the third one same thing new system and I'm gonna call this one district 3 okay district 3 has two groups so I'm going to click on here to tell it which district I'm which system I'm thinking about and I am going to make a new group by going to this little box right here. And there's my second group. So I have District 1 with a group, District 2 with a group, and District 3 with two groups. Okay, so I'm going to start programming up with District 1, which is a system. So it's there li listed as District 1. I'm going to give it quick key 1. It has a hold time of 0 and a delay time of 0, which is uh, good. And I'm through with that. And I'm going to go to the gr first the group in the District 1. I'm going to give that a quick key of 1. 
and I've got two channels in there, two repeaters that I'm going to copy. So I'm going to hit this green plus one, two times, and open up three chan or two channels. And I'll start here with the name of the first channel, which is the Aaron High School. And they have a frequency of 151.865. Oops. 1.865. And then they've got a, a tone, which is uh, <clears throat> DCS of 054. So I'll drag this down to the DCS tones. There's 054, put that in there. Modulation is narrowband FM. And it went to analog, and that's a good thing. Okay, the second one is called Bonita High School. And it's got a frequency of um, 151.97, 151.9700, and it's got a CTCSS of 98.4, is that right? 94.8, I'm sorry. And um, the modulation is narrow banded. Put that there, and I'm going to click out here in the middle of nowhere to make that that just clear up. If you don't do that, you'll lose the last entry. So remember that. Okay, off to dis the second system, district number two. Same thing here. I'm going to give this, except I'm going to give this one a quick key number two. Uh, hold and delay timer, okay. And uh, that's it for that. I'm going to go to group one. It's getting a quick key of number one. And two channels. Give it two green arrows. First channel is called uh, Charles High School, and it's on a frequency of uh, 152.39. Oops, typo. And it's got a tone of 94.8 hertz, which is right there. It is narrow banded. And it is analog. The next one is uh, Danica High School. And it's got a frequency of 1523300. It's got a tone of 94.8. And modulation is narrowband FM with analog. I click it out here to nail it in. I move on to District 3. District 3 gets a quick key of number 3. And everything else uh, remains the same. First group in District 3 is called, uh, well, it's called Group 1. <laughs> it gets a quick key of 1. has two channels. 1, 2. Start right there. The first channel is called Eddie High School. And it gets a frequency of uh, 152465. And a tone of, uh, I think that one is 165. That's a DCS tone, a digitally coded squelch tone of 165, which is right there. Uh, Narrowband FM. And it's analog. Next one is. Um, Felicia High School, and it has a frequency of 152.465, oh, I've got an error, fix that, 152.465, and a tone of uh, 311, Oops. a DCS tone of 311, which is right there. And I got to go back and fix this one. This was, I read it wrong. This is actually 160.200, whoops, dot 200. And the tone on it is, um, it is 165. Okay, I'm going to click out here to, to nail the whole thing in. And I'm going to move off to group two. Group two gets quick key number two. Oops, didn't go in. Let's see, number two. There we go. And then 
two more channels here. The first one is uh, Galvin Channel, Galvin High School, rather. Frequency of 155.16. A tone of 103.5, which is right there. Uh, and narrow band at FM. Okay. And then over to here. The last one is Holly High School. Whoops. And it gets a frequency of 154845. It gets a tone of uh, 94.8. And finally, it gets a narrow band modulation scheme. Okay, and that's it for that. Well, that wasn't quite it. I did find an error in District 3, Group 1, where on um, the Eddie High School channel, I failed, no, I'm sorry, on the Felicia High School channel, I failed to mark it for FM, for a narrowband FM. However, it was marked for auto, and it would have worked anyway, but just to keep things consistent. There, the next rational thing to do here is to save the file now that I've got it built so I don't lose it. And it's just like saving any other file. It's save or file, save as. And I think I'm going to call this one uh, schools video. And save it. Here's the target scanner still with nothing to scan and waiting for its upload. Now to load this uh, set of systems into the scanner, I'm going to go up to this uh, little uh, sc portable scanner with the up arrow. It's labeled Upload to Scanner. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to make sure all three of the districts, all three of the uh, systems are tagged. I can do that individually or I can hit All. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit Start Upload. And you can see the data passing through here. So it took that. And I got a green arrow and a happy smiley face on a scanner. So that's looking good. Had that not happened, I could have gone over to here. And I could have run a test by hitting test. In this case, it's working. So it found my, found my scanner. I could also start auto, which does the same thing. And it also checks the speed and sets it. So if, if it fails here, you can always go through here and, and set it up. This is what you'll see when you upload the data from the computer into the uh, scanner. And it'll come right up and start scanning the systems that you placed into it. Mr. Hobbs on campus or not? Hey, Dolly, is Mr. Rivero not busy? Can you have him come to the, um, to the gym and help me out? Okay, I'll send him over now. Mr. Hobbs, can you come to the gym and help me out? Okay, I'll send him over now. Mr. Hobbs, can you come to the gym and help me out? I'll send him over now. Okay, I've stopped the scanner. I've, I hit the hold button. It stopped. And I'm going to run through the, the, the uh, systems that I put on here. Right now it's on uh, the Air, uh, Aaron High School, which is, uh, um, as you can see here, District 1, Group 1. And here we go, Group 1, District 1, Benita High School, Charles High School, Danica High School, District, uh, District 3, Eddie High School, Felicia High School, and on the second group there in District 3, Galvin High School, and Holly High School, and they're, so they're all there. Now I'm going to set it off to scan. And here's how you can work with this thing. As you, as you saw, I set quick keys in here. And the quick keys show up down here in the bottom, one, two, and three. And say, for example, I only want to hear stuff coming out of system one. If I hit th quick key number three, I get an asterisk there, and it's locked out. Hit system two. It's locked out. I'm only hearing. I'm only scanning uh, district one, system one right now. Now, if I wanted to go back and hear the police, I could hit another one. 
nothing to scan but then hit by hitting POL and bring it and uh, HP and bring it all that back in then I'm back to searching for uh, police or, or Department of Transportation or whatever uh, based on the preloads in here I mean based on the California input that I put on here um, and to go back I just hit get rid of the POL let's see if I can do that there we go get there to that one and bring my three quick keys back in and it starts scanning Yep, I, I heard. No problem. 